Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Wonderful World of Aluno. And I just have a quick little uh, fixing up I need to do over here somehow, and I'm not exactly sure how. I missed, uh, missed putting some blocks in these two spaces. There we go, all fixed. So now we have uh, a wall surrounding that. Um, come on, there we go. So we got a nice brick wall going around there. I put a nice little walkway along the side here. Over to here. We get to the front door of the, uh, the whatever this place is called, the ship repair shipyard ship repairing place whatever it's whatever its official name is just throw some lights there for for added safety um yeah so we got that done and oh i cleaned up all of the all of the stuffs around it so we can take a quick little peeky see here we don't have any floating stuff above the water anymore. There's a roof on the building. So it's all looking quite snazzy. There's a door there. Um, so that's probably how it's gonna sit because I don't think I have the skills to build a boat. Um, I tried chopping these trees. Oh, that might be what I was missing. I tried cleaning these trees up. Um, but I, I don't have the height to get rid of all of these, all of these logs. That might make some of these lower pieces fall off, though, which would be nice. Plant this here so I can get some wood, and then, uh, it kind of just sat there for forever, and I never harvested the wood. But I have done so now, so the, the tree can all deteriorate but it doesn't oh wait some leaves fell off good i'll have to clean the rest up clean the rest of that up off camera it's not worth boring everybody doing that so we got our little fishing dock here which there's nothing new to show on that um in this episode i think we're going to go over to the castle and do some work in there because there's still a lot of stuff that's that's pretty in need of work. Exit the building, Mr. Bear. Exit. It's like it's like right there. Whatever. Um, so what are we gonna need? Oh wait, yeah, this is where this should go, I think. Chuck all that stuff in there. I've got some willow, I've got some acacia. Let's just throw this stuff in the appropriate chests real quick, just to clear up inventory. Alright, I turns out I don't have a chest for cactus which is whatever um ba -ba -ba. just go chuck a bunch of the stuff i don't need let me actually take these apples because i might want to nibble nibble a little i don't need that um probably don't need the, no you know what i'll keep a stack of dirt uh the coal sure i'll take the iron lump actually I should keep the diamond because that should go into the blacksmith shop let me grab a stack of sticks, and you know, actually, I'll take these letters back. All right, let's go. Let's do this. To the castle we go. Woohoo! So yeah, there's this um, where the church was going to go, which I don't know if it should just get scooted over to the wall now. That would probably be the best idea. Um, I don't know what that's all about. Is that how I did my outside corners? That's how I did my outside corners. Okay. Um, something was going to go here, but I don't remember what. A little shop or something. Our nice spooky dark dungeon. I do enjoy this dungeon. Not being locked up in it, mind you. That would not be a enjoyable thing. But it, it has a very, a very nice spooky and dark mysterious feel to it which is perfect because that's how dungeon should feel um these all need to get pinewood floors but 
that's all to do off camera because that would be boring. Um, I know I don't have enough marble. And I know I won't for a very long time. But we're going to go ahead and clean this marble up. Because it's going to be relocated elsewhere. I might as well grab my torches back. Um, this wooden floor needs to get cleared out. What do I have in here? Oh, a bunch of dirt, a bow, a glass bottle, some bones, sandstone brick. What was that from? Oh, it was the rest of the houses. Okay. Well, that's, that's fine. All right, so we're going to... Actually, you know what? Let me put those back. I think... Let me get some dirt here. Wait, I thought I took a stack of dirt with me. Didn't I? I thought I did. Well, evidently I didn't. No big deal, though. What if I leave, like... Say, a space of two nodes? And then... The wall would obviously be all connected, but... So I have less material to remove. I'm doing it this way. Though, honestly, using the uh, node replacer tool, I guess it wouldn't matter. Like, it's not any slower or faster. Okay, so that would give me that. And that gives me two spaces. I really need to put a roadway in here. But, but that'll come in time. Okay, I kind of want to work on the interior design. I don't think I can do dirt slabs, can I? No. And I can't do dirt stairs. And I don't have any pine wood on me. So I'm going to have to run over to the... Actually, what do I have in here? Um, definitely no wood. There might be some in the blacksmith shop. Possibly. I don't know why a blacksmith would have wood. Because he wouldn't be burning that in his furnaces. Glow crystals, glow emeralds. I don't want to use any of that stuff. Well, I guess... I guess I don't know what I will use. We'll just use some more dirt, I suppose. We need to eat these apples real quick, though. What we need to do... Is know where things are going to be. Actually, here, here's a better idea. Let's get this floor over here cleaned out. Node replacement tool... And I think we do that, right? Yep. <gasps> Whoops, didn't want to do that. I'll have to fix that wall. Ta-da! Wall's fixed. Uh, wall's not fixed. The ground's fixed. We need to... Yeah, uh, that's not a good way of doing that. Boop, wall is fixed. Okay. So now... This is really not a good way of doing this, but it, it will work. I don't know which way these need to be placed, though. Well, let's see. If we have, like, a, a thing up front for the, the good priest to do his priestly duties, I don't, I don't know. So he's on a little elevated platform like this sure that looks good then the uh, the people the congregation um, well we'd want to walk away on the side because I mean we want to be able to let people get to these chairs slash pews whatever whatever we want to call them benches seats the seating yeah let's just call it that that's that's the most uh, interdenominational, non-denominational, undenominated. Like that? Does that look good? Sure, sure, that looks fine. And then you would want an open space, probably. I'm, I'm just assuming you would want space to walk through. 
and then here and uh, there, but I don't have enough. And these will be replaced with better seats or benches. I don't know what. But uh, the idea is not to leave them as stairs. Up front here, they will be left as stairs, yes, but here, no. Um, and I'm kind of... Something just exploded over there. I'm kind of wondering if I want to leave this a pine wood floor or not. I'll probably have to because I don't have any better materials to use. But okay, so this will give me one, two, three. Do I have any more pine wood? Is that enough to do another? Yes, it is. All right. So let's do another row. And even another row? Is that enough? Is that too many? That's probably good. So, we made it way deeper. Did we really? Yeah, it kind of did. Alright, so then at the... I don't know what you would have at the back. Maybe like a little office kind of thing? So we'll leave two rows behind, or two nodes, behind the last row of seating. This is going to be really close to the... Uh, Pond thing there. Bum, 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 bum. This wood I could actually all rescue. But I got so much pine wood, I don't need to do that. Okay. Now, we need to have a door in here someplace, I suppose. So the, uh, uh, parishioners? Is that what they're called? The people that go to it. I think those are the parishioners. Maybe do like, do like this. Nice double doors. Of course it needs stained glass windows because it has to be a, a majestic type of a building. It'd be nice to make the doors tall too, but I don't think I can really do that because there's not a three note, three, three note high door. So it's just going to have to be like that. So then actually we may um, just use some dirt here for our rows of pews to simulate our seats, whatever we're calling them. Yeah, so probably leave that open, which means no, no space for a little office thing. But that's okay because... Directly adjacent, adjoining, connected. Ah, should I connect it? I could connect it and make it just a little building off the back. And we could put the entryway over here. Maybe it would be better to put the entryway in this corner, though. And that would connect to the... The thing where the, the people at the, the church live. Where I guess the, the priest and like the monks and all that jazz. So give them a narrow connecting way like that. Because uh <laughs> didn't want to do that. Because it's definitely not uh, part of the same building. It, it needs to be set apart. So they're obviously two independent buildings. I, I don't know why, other than because that gives me an excuse to not build this one overly luxurious and extravagant. Which, I mean, I don't know how they actually were done in era. Like, did the, did the guys, the priests and the monks and the, the whoever's, whoever everybody was, did they live in a building that was connected to the church? What is it, like the parish or something? I don't know. I don't feel like learning history to make a to make a video series on a game. Like that's too much work. Okay, so we'll do something like this or something. I don't know. And then uh, we could plant. You know, maybe I should have made this three wide. 
Because then I could have put all these berry bushes here. Ah, whatever. I don't, it's not that important. Just pick this wood up. Alright. Um, this will be... Should it be connected? Or should it be a fence? No, I'll make it connected. That way if it's... Um... If it's icky weather, inclement weather, the the good fathers and whoever else's don't have to travel through the icky weather to get into the church. Okay, so um, marble. That's what this floor is. I want to say there's another thing that's like quartz. No, not caramel. We might use these for the stained glass. They might be our best options. Um, I want to say there's a material quartz. Yes, there is. Now the question is, where do I find quartz? I get from crystals. Okay, so how do I make a quartz block? Yeah, that's really not the method I want to know. Like, how do I make the original block before I cut it in the circular saw? Four quartz crystals. Okay, well that shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I'll just have to figure out where quartz crystals are found. But I think that'll be for the next episode. I need some food. I need me some foods. Okay, these are not helping. A chair. Here we go. Um, I guess we'll just take a stack of raspberries, because I don't know if you're supposed to cook potatoes before you eat them. I mean, usually speaking, in real life you do, but obviously this isn't real life. I know, that, that's a shocker to some of you. You've, you've grown up your entire life thinking that this was real life, and now you find it's not. Okay, that will not work. Ah! But it is seat of, sit, sit, sitting on a bowl. You can sit on it. We're going to stash that back in here, though. I don't think there's anything in these other ones. Nope. Okay, let's... I think we're going to do, like, some chandeliers here for in the church, because I like the way they look. And they look like they would be fitting for a church. So we're going to wrap this video up here, and I'm going to try and find me a bunch of quartz off camera, and then we will come back and start blocking the church in and work on some of the, um, you know, some of the more, the building aspects of this, which I have no idea how this is going to work, but um, it's a learning experience, so we'll find out, I suppose. Uh, anyway. Be sure to tune in next week, same time, same channel, for another video, and I will see you then.